Welcome back to the channel. This is the Action Figure Grader, and today we're going to take a look at loose graded vintage Star Wars figures, and there were some real rarities that sold here. I've got some common items as well to kind of fill out the group, but I was shocked by two beautiful figures that do not come up often that I wanted to go through in more detail. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters. They get my videos 24 hours early access. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up for as little as $1 a month and also receive buy it now alerts for items on eBay for sale. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. The first one is an AFA 85 Vinyl Cape Jawa, old case style. I thought this price was actually really fair. And you can see there, it's got the older case. This is before they even started adding dowels around the neck. So this is kind of the earliest case that AFA used to put out. But Anyway, this one was listed for $3,000 even. It did sell in a buy it now situation. I didn't even see it get listed, so it must have sold relatively quickly. Once you factor in sales tax and all that kind of crap that you got to pay for on eBay, this one sold for about what I sold mine for, which I think was $33.50. And if I had bought this one, it would have been almost exactly that exact same price. So Mine was an AFA 85 as well with a little bit newer case style. Not the newest, but the newer than this old, old case style. So $3,000 on that one. Here was an interesting one that I did not see sell either. It might have been like a custom item specifically for a buyer. But this one was both blue snaggletooth variants. Both of them graded uncirculated 85. And you can see this one is the archival case U85 no dent in boot. And then the other one was just the regular blue snaggletooth with the toe dent, also graded U85. So very cool to see those for sale. You don't usually see U85 since you'd have to send in the baggie and then the AFA would open the baggie and then grade them. But uh, they were some beautiful figures, very nice condition. Look how silver those boots are. And those sold for $4,500, so $2,250 a piece for two U85 blue snags, one with the toe dent, one without. Big price on both of those. Here are the two items that I sent out to my Patreon supporters, and they were bought immediately, like, bam, immediately. And they were some beauties. This one was the early Spanish Pac variant for Luke Skywalker Farm Boy, graded UKG 75. I've never seen a Spanish Pac Luke Farm Boy graded higher than that they're, because they're really brittle. The bodies on these especially can just like crack into like a million pieces. It's a super fragile plastic. And this one was graded 75, very high grade, and it did sell for 525 pounds, which is $654. Coincidentally, another seller in the UK also had a UKG 75 Spanish Pac Luke Farm Boy probably about two or three months ago that sold. And I know it was a subscriber that bought it because he mentioned he bought it. And I was really jealous at the time. I was like, you'll never see one of those again. Well, lo and behold, two or three months later, another one comes up exact same grade. So you just never know what's going to happen, man. Uh, this one sold for about the same price. I think the other one might have sold for like six twenty five dollars in terms of US dollars, maybe a little more. But this one sold for six fifty four. dollars and I really wanted to buy this. Full disclaimer, I wanted to buy this. And so I sent it out to my, what I usually do is I send it out to my Patreon supporters to give them a first crack at it. And if it doesn't sell within an hour or two, and I still really want it, to me, I've marinated it on it enough to say, John, do you really need this in your collection? Do you really need to spend another $650 right now? And at the end of two hours, if I still want it, then I usually do buy it. If it's still for sale, uh, you know, then, you know, and I, and I don't want it anymore, then I know I made the right decision to not, you know, to, to, to wait on buying it. So on this one, I, I said I'd send it out. I, I really do want a, a Spanish Pac Luke Farm Boy, but I, I sent it out. And it was gone literally in 10 seconds. And likewise for this one, this is about as rare as it gets. I, I don't remember the last, I don't think I've ever seen one of these for sale on eBay. I have seen them for sale on like Echo Base Vintage Variants on Facebook, ungraded. Uh, there's a few really high-end collectors that sell very rare variants like this, like this one or the Meccano Death Star droid that has the blank raised bar on the back of the leg. This is a Meccano, French Meccano R5-D4, extremely rare. 
And what's interesting is I didn't realize this, but it has a no COO slash scar on the bottom of the circular body on this one. It was graded UKG 85% as well. So very, very rare. And the same, I assume the same Patreon supporter that bought the Luke Farm Boy also bought this one. I could be wrong on that, but they were both purchased by Patreon supporters to my knowledge. But you can see there the label says no COO scar. And I was like, huh. That's interesting. I did not know that a French Meccano, usually most French Meccano figures either have like a bump or a blank raised bar, to my knowledge. This one has a scar and you can see it very clearly on the bottom of the, of the, uh, of the c c cylindrical body here. And it was nice that the seller included this. You can see in the upper left hand corner of this photo that it's got a very clear scar from where they carved out the, Hong I assume the Hong Kong label on the on the actual mold that was used to, to create this. You can see it's a very uneven kind of scar there on the bottom of the body. So that's a really cool variant. It's the first time <coughs> that I've ever actually seen one of these graded and the first time I've certainly seen one of these that to my knowledge and to my memory on eBay. Uh, so this was a beautiful item. And the, the last one I remember selling on Facebook that was ungraded sold for almost this exact same price if memory serves. So I don't think this was overpriced at all, believe it or not. This is much more rare than a Red Bar R5. Much more rare. So, I, I yes, I would have loved to have bought it, but I just felt like you know, it's. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. Okay, I'm really not when I say this. But the, in my opinion, my Patreon supporters, they motivate me to make enough videos to to satisfy what you guys pay me each month, okay? And as another bonus to that, I send out these buy it now alerts. And I, I almost feel guilty, quite honestly, if I purchase something without sending the Patreon buy it now alert to them first. I do it occasionally, okay? I did it for the P Spanish Pot Black Neck Lando that was a UKG 85. I had been looking for years for that one. So while I felt a little guilty on that one, I still did it because I, I wanted that one. I've been wanting that one forever. Now, if I had money to burn and I had been looking for this one forever, then I probably would have bought this one. Uh, but I, I just, I, I haven't been looking for this one because you just never see it. So I, I just thought that it would be a disservice to my Patreon supporters to at not least give them notice and give them first crack at it. And again, I'm not trying to toot my own horn by any means. That's not the point of what I, I say there. But I, I try to explain maybe why I send out these buy it now alerts, especially for characters that I really collect, like R5D4. I just don't think it's right to 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 at least give people a shot on it. So that's how I feel about it. I, I take I take advantage enough of my you know sway within the collecting community by getting early looks at some of the stuff that Chris has for sale over on Rogue Five Toys. And, you know, I, I feel guilty on a lot of those as well. So, again, that's that's just how I look at it. And that's not to say that I won't ever buy something without showing it to you guys first. But I, this is one that I didn't really want to spend this kind of money anyway uh, because I just have spent so much money at the last Hakes auction. So I thought it was appropriate to send it out. But it was a beauty. And I can tell you that if I see another one come up, I might be really tempted on it because it's, it's just one of those rare variants that, it's just a ghost. It's it's an absolute ghost. You never actually see those for sale. So very cool item. Congrats to the buyer on that one. Uh, here was a just a simple no COO Princess Leia Organa graded UKG 80%. This one was from the same seller. Treasures from the Attic always has nice high grade items. This one was listed for 175 pounds, which is $218. And it sat for a couple of weeks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal there. That's a variant I would like to pick up at some point. Really nice variant there. Uh, here was another one. This is somebody that watches the channel, by the way. I, I heard from him by email. So I, I did send this one out to my Patreon supporters. I don't know if they bought it or not, but this was a, just a standard Hong Kong Darth Vader, but it was graded UKG 85%. Very high grade, new case style. That one was listed for 130 pounds, which is $162. And given that an AFA 85 would probably set you back about 250, I thought that was a pretty good discount given that's a UKG 85%. And that was purchased in a buy, in a make an offer situation. Next up was that AFA 85 Hong Kong Stormtrooper. And, you know, I thought this was a good buy at $300. Now, could you argue that this one's got discoloration? I don't see it. I personally do not see any discoloration on this one at all. I mean, I look at the limbs. I, I look at the body 
versus the limbs. And it looks close enough to me. Usually with Stormtroopers, you can get a little bit of discoloration. Now, this one did have some wear around the hand. You can see there very clearly on the finger, the front finger, and then where the pistol goes into his hand, that it has some paint wear. And so I'm guessing that that's probably what held the price back a little bit, is that people said, yeah, it's an 85, but it's a low 85. Uh, because normally I would say an 85 Stormtrooper, loose graded like this, new case style, would probably be more like 500 plus. And we've seen some that have sold that high. So I, I think this is a case where people really looked at the photos, looked at that hand especially, and decided, eh, it's kind of a low 85. And so that kept the price down just a little bit. But 300 bucks, pretty good price. That's the price I'd pay all day long. Uh, here was an 85 Taiwan Boba Fett. That one sold for $330. That's up a little bit, you know. We've been seeing AFA 85 Taiwan Fets more like 250, 275, somewhere in that ballpark. So this one did look super mint. And part of it was the photos, maybe. You know, it, it had a little bit of paint splash there on his elbow, or on the crook of his elbow. And then maybe one little defect right there on his hand. But the rest of the paint apps look pretty much perfect to me. You know, I, is it an 85? I think it's an 85 all day long. And I, I don't know if I'd pay 330 for it, but it was certainly a very nice figure. Next up, this was a lot of three figures. We had a standard Hong Kong Hammerhead AFA-85. We had an Orange Snake Yoda graded AFA-80, and then a Greedo graded AFA-85. That lot of three sold for $390, or about $130 a piece. Pretty good deal there on a nice lot. Here was a long iTubes Tuscan Raider graded AFA-85. Tough to find this one in an, in an 85 grade. I paid about 160 for my AFA 80 plus, and this one sold for 205.50. That's a little bit lower than the last one, to my memory, that sold for. So maybe because the cape is kind of falling off the shoulders there a little bit, I don't know. But that seems a little low to me uh, relative to even what this one sold for, which was a CAS 90 Tuscan Raider that was just a standard Hong Kong, but it was CAS 90. That one sold for $300, which surprised me at the upper end of the scale, but certainly a very nice looking figure. Same seller also had this CAS 90 Hammerhead. That one sold for $232.50. Uh, pretty, pretty high price there, but you know, whether it's a CAS 90 or an AFA 85 plus, you know, that's about what I equate it to. And I very rarely get 90 grades, even from CAS. I know CAS tends to grade a little looser like UKG does versus AFA. But even with all the figures I've sent in over the years to, to CAS, I can count probably on one hand, maybe two hands, the number of figures I've gotten with a 90 grade or higher. It's just very tough to do. I would say if you include like third generation bootlegs, like Polish bootlegs and some other figures like that, maybe 10 or less that I've gotten out of probably over 100 that I've sent over the last, I don't know, however long, six, seven years. So it's very tough to get a 90 grade. And then finally, this seller also had an AFA 90 Wicket old case style. That one sold for $102.50, which I thought was a fantastic deal. This is a good, if you got it for $102.50, this is a great candidate to send in now that AFA is taking loose graded submissions again. I would take this, send it back in for the brand new case style. What's it cost? $25 or $30, bucks, maybe $50 bucks after shipping. And I think you've added some value to that figure uh, to, to get an AFA 90 for Wicket. Now, there's no guarantee you get the same grade. So that's the risk you take. You're rolling the dice a little bit. But in general, I think that it'll probably stay the same unless it's got noticeable paint wear or noticeable discoloration to like a Stormtrooper or a Princess Leia, something like that. Very nice figure, though. Next up was a CAS 90 Hong Kong uh, Hong Kong Emperor's Royal Guard. That one sold for 130 Pretty good deal on that one. Uh, here was an AFA 80 mail away baggie for four lom. This was sold by Brian's Toys, 103.50. A really good deal there. I thought that that was a, a particularly good deal for, you know, not not a, a a very expensive or rare baggie, but I think it presents very nicely. And to get it for 103.50, I mean, to get it loose graded after shipping and everything, it's got to be in the ballpark, I would think, of fifty dollars or more. So you're basically getting a baggie for fifty bucks pre grading. Next up, I've got two different Stormtrooper, Luke Stormtroopers that sold. This one was a UKG 80%. It does have a little bit of yellowing to the body that you can see there. The It's very minimal, but you can see the, the limbs are a different color than the body. But older case style, UKG 80%, probably about right for the grade. That one was in a buy-it-now situation for 300 pounds 
which is $373. That's a good deal. That's a really, really good deal. That was a buy it now situation and one that I certainly would have sent out if I had seen it because that's really kind of more like loose, complete, ungraded prices for a Luke Stormtrooper, if you ask me. I thought that was a good deal. And then here was that AFA-85 Luke Stormtrooper that was encased with an AFA-85 Power of the Force coin for Luke Stormtrooper. That one sold for eight sixteen ninety. dollars very good deal there. I, I thought that that was towards the lower end of what I was really expecting it to be sold for. Maybe people don't like it encased with the coin. I don't know. Because you have like double acrylic in there and some people might not want that. I don't know. But to me, that seems like a pretty fair deal for that. Finally, it's not vintage. It's a modern item, but I wanted to show it since we're talking about loose graded. This was a first shot prototype Jedi High Cancel Yariel Poof graded CES 90 unpainted first shot. This is from the... I believe the Attack of the Clone. Now, this is from the Phantom Menace line of toys. And that one sold for $331, which seems like a lot of money. But CAS does charge a lot of money to, to loose grade prototypes. They charge $150 or more for that. So you're paying $150 just to get something graded, plus the actual cost of the prototype. Let's call it $150, $170 for the prototype. So $331 altogether for that loose graded unpainted first shot Phantom Menace prototype. Anyway, that's all I really had for this look at some common as well as maybe some not so common items that are loose graded by AFA, UKG, and CAS. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks as always for watching. Please leave a like and I'll be back soon.